Yo, what's going on guys? It is FoxyDude98 here. Welcome back to a brand new video for you guys today here on the channel. Today we are back with round two of the F1 Fantasy League and uh, here after the Spanish Grand Prix. We're going to be having a look through the Fantasy League, seeing where we're at, seeing how I've been performing, where I would like to make my changes heading for the Monaco Grand Prix and then where we're going to be looking at some of you guys, checking out how you're doing in my league. I'll also let you guys know about my league as well if you haven't yet joined it. Um, but first of all, for those that don't know anything about the F1 Fantasy League, Basically, as you can see on your screens right here, this is uh, Formula1.com and they have a new fantasy league which they started for the Baku Grand Prix and it's going to carry on for the rest of the season. You have $100 million which you get to spend and you can pick five drivers of your choice and a constructor, but you've got to manage your budget wisely. Otherwise, you may have a little bit of a different problem there uh, trying to, uh, to match them out. But anyway, we're going to go in then and have a look at how things were. So overall then, for me this weekend, it's been a very good weekend for myself. Uh, obviously, if we have a look at the list here, I think it... No, it's not showing how many points I got, which is great. Um, but nevertheless, it's fine. We can see them sort of all around about here. But anyway, as you can see, this was my team that I took heading into the Spanish Grand Prix. I had Lewis Hamilton, Kevin Magnussen, Roman Grosjean, Nico Hulkenberg, and Fernando Alonso. And I think if I go to my team, it will tell me my points. There we go. So as you can see, uh, for the first race week here, uh, race week one, I accumulated a very lousy total of 87 points. As you can see, I got 45 for Hamilton. Hulkenberg was my turbo driver. Alonso did great. Grosjean crashed out. It wasn't a good weekend. Having a look then uh, at race week number two, you can see things were a lot better for myself. I managed to do much, much better for a few reasons. So, unfortunately, once again, as for the second race weekend in a row, Nico Hulkenberg and Roman Grosjean lost me points uh, this weekend. Of course, uh, Hulkenberg, uh, for no fault of his own, Grosjean obviously lost out for me because he had uh, 11, he had a crash into turn one. And coming into the Monaco Grand Prix, I am going to be switching out Roman Grosjean. He hasn't scored a point this season. He's just been very, very out of shape and out of order in the team. And uh, Kevin Magnussen has had a stellar season so far for Haas and feels at his own. You know, Grosjean's just not there this season. So I will be swapping Grosjean. Uh, this year and I might make the swap in this episode. I'm not sure who I'm going to go with though I'm honestly considering uh, taking on potentially Carlos Sainz because uh, he's doing quite well at the moment But yeah, we've done a great job there of 144 points Obviously Lewis Hamilton bringing the pole position and the race victory giving me 44 points for number 44 Magnussen 23 points uh, Grosjean minus 11 Hulkenberg minus 14 Fernando Alonso with 32 points in the bag and then Mercedes-Benz grabbing me 70 points this uh, season, obviously, with the front row lockout and a 1-2 for Mercedes-Benz. I'm just saying, Mercedes, Mercedes are my team. Come on, like, I'm wearing the Mercedes top. I'm not swapping for Mercedes. I don't care about winning. I'm sticking with my gut. No, I might swap them out if I need to. Uh, it is it is essential if I, if I need to do that. Um, but anyway, going into the team edits then, I believe that we're only allowed to make one clear change. My big change, and actually, I've just realized that my budget is 4 million. It used to be 2.7. Are they... Oh... I've just realized that the prices of drivers and teams fluctuate. That's kind of interesting, actually. Alon yeah, Alonso's gone up to 11.9 million. I swear he was like 8 million as a bit ago. And science is now up to 10.8. Things are changing. That's actually quite cool that they do fluctuate. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. So what we're going to do then is I'm going to remove Romain Grosjean, and that gives me 8.3 million left to spend, which actually isn't enough to grab myself science. So who can I grab? 8.8 8 plus million. I don't want to go with Stoffer Van Dorn. I don't think Van Dorn's having a good season so far. Now, Charles Leclerc is someone who's performing absolutely phenomenally right now. Do I want to take a risk and take Charles Leclerc? I mean, Monaco is just straight up downforce heavy. And I don't know if they... if. Hmm. But the thing is, though, is Charles Leclerc is, is Monegasque. So it's his home race, like, proper... The Saubers look good. Like, there's nothing wrong with the Sauber car. It's definitely not the fastest, don't get me wrong. But they don't exactly crumble when it comes to it. I don't understand why Stroll is 9.3 million. Sorotkin's terrible. Uh, uh, Hartley and Gasly, I mean, they could work. This is a strong track for them. Uh, heading for Monaco. Do you know what? I'm not going to make changes. Edit team. Oh, I, I won't even... Yeah, just, just keep it like that. So I'm not going to make any changes to my team. Uh, just yet, and now all of a sudden I have 8.3, whatever. Uh, I'll make changes. To, who do I want to bring in, though? I've got 8.3. So really, I can only go with these. I mean, Grosjean is currently, at the moment, the cheapest driver on the grid because he's just terrible and he hasn't scored points. He's just losing me points. To be honest, 
I'm really tempted to take on Charles Leclerc for Sauber. I know Sauber have been terrible, but they've got back-to-back -back points. But it's how long can that record stay up for? That's what I'm trying to think about here. But honestly, I'm also thinking of one of the Toro Rosso guys of either Hartley or Gasly, because they can get into the points uh, if they can do it right. Toro Rosso, have they been good around Monaco normally? No. To be honest, I'm going to do it. I'm going to take Charles Leclerc for my team, and I'm going to save that. And that's going to be my one and only change that I'm going to make going into the Monaco Grand Prix. Uh, and you can see my team has been entered into the following leagues. There's all these random leagues, but I only care about my league. So as you can see now, if, for example, I tried to make a change like taking out Magnussen for like 10 million and then bringing in, you know, someone else like Ocon or something. It wouldn't let the change go through. Uh, so it's not like I can do it anymore. I don't think so anyway, as far as I know. Um, so yeah, I know it's going to be a big one. And uh, obviously keeping Hamilton and Mercedes for Monaco, which is a track they don't do pretty well at. I'm going to stick with it nonetheless. Uh, it's a big one. It's a bold one, but... I'm going to hope for the best. But anyway, moving on then into the leagues. If I am allowed to make more changes, then I will make changes. Um, but heading into the league, then you can see here, this is where I'm. Globally, I'm 58,573rd out of 141,000 entrances. In the UK, I'm 10,000th on the leaderboard out of 24,000. In the official Mercedes league, I don't even know how I'm in that league. I'm 16,000th out of 34,000. And then in the uh, le in my league, I am 68th out of the 187 of you guys that have entered into the league. And you can see all the leagues there. So Arava making his own league. He's got the most entrances uh, in the uh, in the in public leagues, to be honest, and uh, and so forth. But we're going to go into my league then, and you can see that uh, overall, in terms of my league, I am down in 68th place, but I'm on 231 points. So it's a big gain from 87 points in the last episode. And there's Williams Gaming there, so he's dropped below me, so suck that one. Um, but we're going to go and have a look at probably the top five, uh, and then we're going to go from there. So uh, we've got a new leader, and that's Raikkonen Does Best. And he has got a brilliant uh, team here, and he did very well in uh, this week. In race week number one, he managed to accumulate 188 points in race week one. Uh, he's actually kept it the same. He's not made any changes to his uh, team. So uh, in this round, he's gone with Fernando Alonso as his driver. He's gone with Charles Leclerc, uh, Sebastian Vettel, Marcus Ericsson. He's gone with Max Verstappen as his turbo driver. Now, Verstappen has had a price increase to 19.7 million. But he's got Verstappen before he rose up to 19 plus million. So he's kept him as a turbo driver. So fair play. He's done that perfectly well there. And he's got Mercedes-Benz as the constructor there. So Alexandre from Canada has uh, got uh, the best and is currently top of my league so far with uh, 396 points. He has a little bit of a, uh, a gap here over um, Praise Helix, I think it is. I probably said it wrong. I'm sorry if I did. Uh, so he's gone with Carlos Sainz, Brendan Hartley, Fernando Alonso is his turbo driver, Lewis Hamilton, Kevin Magnussen, and Mercedes-Benz. Very good overall rounded uh, team. Brilliant race week for him with 199 points. Again, obviously, I've just made my own change, and that is to bring in Charles Leclerc uh, for Sauber. Watch Grosjean just do the best. It would be annoying if he does. Next up, we've got some aids, because, um, you know, we always like a bit of aids in life. Not really. Uh, but he's got 160 points from race week two. So how did he go on race week one? Did he improve? No, he actually did slightly worse this time around. It just shows you things do change from time to time. Uh, so in Baku, uh, he got more points. Yeah, more points with Magnussen. Slightly less with Alonso, slightly more with Vettel, one less point for Hamilton in Baku. That's actually a weird thing. So in Baku, Lewis Hamilton got 45 points. He started on the front row of the grid and he led three laps. Here at the Spanish Grand Prix, he got pole position. He led virtually every single lap until obviously Verstappen led for like another five or six laps, something like that. Uh, and he was untouchable the whole race. And he gets less points this week than he does last week. I don't get how it works. Maybe there's some fastest lap pit stop stuff. I don't know the point system. Um, but then he's got Sainz and unfortunately a bad result there for McLaren. Uh, obviously, a lot of people probably picked McLaren actually because of their B-spec car. It hasn't worked for them, unfortunately. Uh, Warrior is next then. Uh, and I can't even pronounce that name. Santos. I don't know. I'm not even going to brother anymore. Brother? No, nah, I can't talk. Um, but he's gone with uh, 202 points actually for this race week. Comparing to last week with 144. In fact, he's actually gotten... With, bruh, my phone, shut up, I swear, shut up, iPhone X, I don't need you right now, um, so he's gone with Vettel, what was he have this week, so he's kept Verstappen as his turbo driver, um, and he's got Perez, Alonso, Magnussen, Vettel, and Red Bull, 50 points, yeah, okay, 
you know what, I rate that's a good side, and he's gained 202 points, which is massive, that's loads uh, compared to now, and then we've got Different Name with 340 points, uh, so there is a bit of a gap coming out after this weekend, I'm noticing, and uh, this guy's done quite well this week, 172 points, he's picked Hamilton, he's got Hamilton and Verstappen and Red Bull, he's really managed himself well. Unfortunately, Stoffel van Dorn's retirement and just the awful Spanish Grand Prix in general has lost him out on the points on that one with Sainz, giving him 21 points. Perez, the turbo driver there, on 36. Not too bad. And I think Lewis might have been... I think Lewis for Dorn was the leader of last week. Yeah, wow. That's a huge decrease in points from uh, last week to this week. Because last week, he uh, had um, Vettel, Hamilton, Alonso, Perez, Grosjean and Force India... Uh, and they did super well last week. And he's gone from 121 po 201 points to 127 points. Not the best result for him this week. And it's definitely due to the bottom three, really. Perez, Forsinia, and Grosjean not doing well. But he's got Hamilton and Vettel. So he's trying to go for the driver thing. But not quite worked for him today, unfortunately, there. And uh, we're going to have a look at some other people. I think Shui F1 was also close as well. Um, in there as well. I've got to look at some blue flag. Why not? Let's get some blue flag action in here. So he's got Vettel, Ricardo, decent amount of points. Alonso, their turbo driver. Do you know what? That's a very consistent race week for him. No one's lost in points. They've all done very, very well. And that's the thing, though, because my team, my fantasy league, I feel is very strong, but they're just not all doing consistent. That's the problem. And that's why I've had to get rid of Grosjean for Charles Leclerc. I just got to hope that Hulkenberg gets some luck. And I know he's going to get it soon because he's a top driver. Uh, he needs the luck, really. Uh, my cousin Reese has dropped down to 22nd. I believe he was 17th on the first race week. He got 153 points. This week, he's gone to 142 points again. He's actually got a very similar side to me uh, this week. Uh, he's got Alonso with his turbo driver. This is the same as me. Hamilton, this is the same as me. Van Dorn, I don't have Van Dorn. I have Grosjean. Uh, Hulkenberg, same as me. Magnussen, same as me. Mercedes, same as me. Okay, <laughs> we've got very similar fantasy leagues. You can tell that we both we both talk about it a lot. We've got Timor as well. I haven't uh, heard of from Timor in ages. He's got Bottas. Yeah, Bottas has been strong this year. Has he done better this week or last week? He's done much better this week. Wow. Uh, every one of his team scoring points. Red Bull, a good choice for constructors to grab points. Raikkonen, not so much because unfortunately he did DNF in this race. And we can see then Finnell, 262 points in total. Uh, shout out to everyone that's also in this league, by the way, of course, as I'm going to say it, I can't physically go through every single person, and obviously the first 100 teams are shown on the leaderboard, so if you're below 100th, I can't even see it anyway, uh, and I can't go for everyone's team, uh, otherwise it'd be a bit boring, so um, I'm sorry about that, uh, shout out to you nonetheless for, for joining the league. Here we can see uh, Sam uh, Williams Gaming. Uh, he's done, had 126 points on the first week, and uh, only 103 this week has cost him quite badly. Uh, obviously, he chose Van Dorn and Alonso and McLaren. He's gone with his former McLaren lineup. Obviously, uh, Sam is a McLaren fan, um, and uh, so obviously, it's no doubt about Like, I'm a Mercedes fan. I'm wearing Mercedes gear. I wear Mercedes, you know, uh, I'm using Mercedes in my league. He's using McLaren. It is what it is, and he's got Vettel and Ricardo in there as well. I'd probably change Ricardo for Verstappen, though. I don't know why, because Verstappen's just, uh, just I don't know, weird, weird one. And uh, um, I'm going to look at No to the Halo. I did I did this last week, but I'm doing it again this week, just because No to the Halo is just funny. And he's lost points with Hulkenberg, Ocon, and Renault not doing him very well, but Ricardo Vettel and Verstappen, he's got a strong lineup. If they all do consistent, he's in for a solid point score in week. And then we got Kvyat will return in P100 with 142 points on this week. Only 43 points this guy got last week. And this week, he shot up this time around with uh, Hulkenberg, unfortunately, not getting him any points. But he's got Alonso, Bottas, Ricardo, uh, Red Bull, and, and Charles Leclerc doing brilliant stuff for him there. But anyway, guys, that is it for the F1 Fantasy League. We've made some changes to my league. And uh, you can see that overall, it's been a better race week. 87 points in the first week was dreadful. 144 this week. Heading into the next race for the Monaco Grand Prix, you can see that I've made just the one change and I've taken out Romain Grosjean and I'm bringing in Charles Leclerc for my league. Obviously, if you guys want to get involved, the league is Foxy Dude Fantasy F1. People say that I spelt fantasy wrong. I wasn't even going for fantasy. I literally did it so people would think, you've spelt fantasy wrong. And I'm like, no, it's actually fantasy. It's just a weird name I came up with. 
Um, but yeah, if you want to join it, feel free to join it. I will leave a link in the description down below to uh, F1's uh, official uh, Fantasy League page. Also, I'll leave a link to the code to join because for some reason, every time people try and join, it's like there's a code. Um, so I'll leave a link to the code as well. So go into the description of this video, find that code, and you'll be able to join straight away. But guys, if you haven't enjoyed today's video, feel free to drop it a like, subscribe if you're only around here as well. And I'll see you guys in two weeks' time where we will review the Fantasy League after the Monaco Grand Prix. Take care all. Peace.